So let's remember the goal is to not feel the weight of the stick, not to work on our muscles. Sometimes I hear, yeah, I work, uh, I play single strokes on the pillow, or I use very heavy sticks so that my muscles, you know, get a um, good workout. No, that's the opposite. I want to take a physical effort off. I want the rebound to do the effort uh, for me. The, the less fatigue I feel I have on doing this, the faster, the more powerful, the, the longer period um, I can play. So that's my goal not to work on my muscle, not to make fatigue, but the opposite, to make the rebound do everything. So things that we have to pay attention to. Of course, distances between the notes, keep them regular. Let's not um, make the stick work in a weird way so that or stopping, like stopping the rebound and then doing things like that. But let's just let, let the stick free to do what it wants and then just isolate the wrist from the, the, the arm and working basically from uh, the elbow to the wrist. Let's not be stiff. Okay, let's always be free, but let's not work in two times. Let's just follow follow the stick with the with that kind of a free stroke um, motion. Um, so again, the synchronization to the rebound is the the key of this exercise, I would say. Um, and now I'll give you a demonstration of how the exercise has to be played, so that you guys have an idea when you practice. And then of course we will switch to wood sticks. The concept will be the same. It's going to be a little bit harder to understand if uh, we're doing the, the switching in the right way, but we're going to fill it anyway. I mean, it's not going to be um, impossible. So you just have to pay more attention, uh, but just apply the same concept that we did with the iron sticks. So with this exercise, we're going to benefit the, the fact of switching between 
um, a slow motion to a fast motion, for example, when we switch from a skank beat to like something faster, or another pattern and then in a fill that we really want to work only on our wrist, we, want, we will be able to just uh, switch from one, um, one motion, one part of the body to the other without thinking about it, we'll just go on and off into it. So it's very important to understand the difference between the two uh, part of the body, isolate the wrist, let's not choke the stick while we play, but let's not leave it too loose, so uh, keep the hand relaxed but always in contact, so these three fingers in contact with the stick, uh, leaving again a little bit of, of space to move so that we don't get stiff. Have a good practice and I'll see you next week with another lesson. Hey there, if you're liking the videos that I'm uploading, you should check these videos on jamespaindrums.com in which I upload a more in-depth version of the videos with multicam views, PDFs so that you have everything written down and you don't have to always memorize everything. There's going to be polynome playlists where I've basically created playlists that you can um, follow, speed up, slow down, just play one part of whatever I'm playing, just the snare, just the bass drum, and it's all through an app so you can take it on your phone with you in your um, practice room and coaching videos, which means you will have my voice reminding you what to focus on, either in balance or your right hand on your left foot based on where you are in the exercises so that it's like if I'm gonna be there with you in the room while you're practicing. So there's gonna be a bunch of extra content there that might help you out practicing and improving faster.